we're making it right here. I bought this when Carl was living with mm -hmm. us. This is such good feeling. I don't want to go. Me neither. Good morning, I'm up. It's our last day here. We're leaving at 7.50 tonight. We're gonna go to the co-op today. Aunt Moon Mama's showing us the co-op and then we're gonna go Dick Taylor chocolate place where they make candy bars, really good ones. Oh, I forgot what else she said we're doing, but we're gonna just go into Arcata or maybe, you know, no, she didn't say that. She said um, Eureka to just go look at a few things. Um, I think that's where the chocolate place is. Uh, we're gonna, we're, it's, Blue Lake is supposed to get a big rainstorm. The clouds are rolling in. The wind chimes are going. I can't wait, I love the rain. Oh, there's one behind me? <laughs> Steps to get me close to my purpose today. Oh, no. Inhale courage, exhale fear, yes. Now we're at Dick Taylor Chocolate. And look how beautiful the building is. It's black. Here we go. Let's see what the chocolate's like. This is the chocolate candy store. Oh my goodness. What are these? They're And they have samples. Here's where they're making it. Taylor even do music. This is their music, and I think I need to get it. Wow. And they do the art work on their candy bars. After Dick Taylor's Chocolate Factory, we headed to my family's local co-op. And when I say my family's, I don't mean it's completely their shopping market that they own. However, they sort of do own it because a lot of people that shop at the co-op, they contribute money, sort of like a membership. And at the end of the year, if this local market makes money, everyone who's contributed gets a little piece of it. That's pretty awesome, don't you think? So we're walking through. Here's where my cousin shows me that this gin is a local gin made in Blue Lake, which was kind of interesting. My aunt was talking about loving to buy things that are local, and that would be one of them. <laughs> they also sell things in bulk at this grocery store. 
which is always nice. You bring your own containers and you can put the stuff in there. Not just all the bulk food items, but they also had like shampoos and soaps that if you were to bring your own container, you just fill it up and then they charge you per ounce. And that way there's not a lot of plastic waste. Um, they had a lot of cool soaps. I bought Motorcycle Man a really good soap. A turmeric soap, I thought that would be good for his skin. I always like all the knick-knacky things, like to take that in. We just had fun just kind of walking around this market. I love new things to see, and it was different than any market I shop around here. She showed me this local tuna. Yes, I bought some. I have yet to make it, but I'm excited to try it out. Such a cool little market. Yeah, I love a good, out of the ordinary, not a chain, yeah. local market. Yeah. It's so exciting to me. You, get it, you can see, they carry so much like local. Yeah, know, like, the, like the Larapin. Is that how I say that right Larapin. Mm -hmm. Larapin. Mm -hmm. That is the coolest discovery this weekend. Is <laughs> that so Larapin? Funny. And it was by mistake, kind of. You gotta tell Matt because he just is all about Larapin. Is he really? All about Larapin. And especially that stuff. He's like all about it. So he's gonna be like so thrilled that you are oh all my about goodness. the Larapins. I was just trying to be adventurous at that one place. Yeah. And I was like, what the heck is this? That's the only ingredient I didn't know. And then you told me, and I was like, yep. heck, let's try this now. I'm going to be like a fan of Claire Pin. <laughs> We're almost finished walking through this store. And of course the coffee calls my attention. It's the smell. And these are local coffees made in the area. And this is the coffee that my family drinks as she's pointing it out. Once we got back to the house, we grabbed Motorcycle Man and we went on a rain walk. I'm calling this a rain walk and it was actually the last stroll through town before we had have to head back home. Motorcycle Man always being a little crazy guy threw an apple at me, hit me in my pants. <laughs> he thought it was funny, of course. But then he had to go pick up his apple corn, actually throw it, throw it away. He, he didn't leave it in the si sidewalk. Don't worry. So we're crossing the street. This is kind of the same path we took the first morning we got there to get to the coffee spot. And this time, though, we're just kind of walking around the neighborhood to look at houses. Miss Mood Spinner, my cousin, she has this favorite house she wanted to show us. If it ever comes up for sale, she wants to buy it. I'll let you know when we get there. Right now, though, we are just enjoying the rain. And yes, um, my pants were a little long and my pants got wet, but no big deal. I just got home and changed just so I had something dry to wear on the airplane. But I love the sound of rain and I love the smell of rain and especially the smell, it comes off the asphalt and it just has this like, ah, oh, it's just kind of like a little piece of goodness. I don't know how else to explain it, but every time it rains, there's a smell that I associate with the asphalt and the rain and it just is a feeling of comfort. So it was very, comfort like walking through this town and i joked as we crossed this area right here i swipe over here and i say this is where pippi longstocking lives because it reminded me of a place pippi longstocking would live and this may not be interesting for you to watch i know it's a little bit much of just walking through a town but um I really just wanted to take in the last moments with my family and with my guy. And rain is one of my favorite things. I love to do anything in the rain. We live by Disneyland, where I'm from. And the best days to go to Disneyland are on rainy days. Because not a lot of people want to walk in the rain for some crazy reason. But I'm a rain walker and my family, they also love the rain. So it's a perfect match. There we're passing that little coffee shack that we went to on the first morning. 
They weren't open because it was a Monday. They're closed on Mondays and Sundays, or I should say Sundays and Mondays, if I'm going in order. Now we're walking towards the little house that my cousin would love to own someday, and we're almost there. And let me just point out the umbrella she has. That's from me. I got it at a little vintage shop, and it's antique Paris, France umbrella. And there is the house. Isn't it adorable? I think it's so cute, and I hope it comes for sale one day just for my cousin. And there's this house up on the hill. Oh gosh, I think I would live in any one of these houses. But as we're walking through the town, we do come upon a house that is for sale. Now, I can't exactly buy it because it's totally out of my price range, but this is it right here. This is the house for sale. I feel like my aunt said it was like uh, at least $800,000. Um, but we wanted to get a closer look and peek through the windows and see what $800,000 looks like. I don't understand how they can sell a house for this much money. It definitely needed a lot of work and it's not exactly even original. You can tell they've changed things and that kind of bothers me. I like an original house. Oh, look at that, a plant sale. Where could this plant sale be? Is that just trash in the street or is there an actual plant sale. We'll have to walk through the city and find it. Right here, my aunt's showing me this beautiful garden. I notice a kitty up on the porch. I freak out. I try to zoom in, but you really still can't see, but there is a kitty sitting on that porch. And she's telling me how they took these bottles and shoved them into the ground to make some sort of like ground cover. And here's the plant sale. We found the plant sale, all kinds of cactus. Look at the beautiful colors of all the homes in this gray city. I bet you they paint them in vibrant colors because they have a lot of gray days and the color just makes people happy. It makes me happy. And we're walking through this little area right here. And whenever there's a bridge, Motorcycle Man always likes to say, we're going to Terabithia. I think that's how you say it. I think there's a movie about it. The bridge to Terabithia. And I'm saying it with a question because I don't exactly remember the name but it's something like that so we're going to go across the bridge i love crossing bridges especially when there's water running underneath and there was a little stream under this one and this was our last walk in the city of blue lake and i'm so thankful we got to go We are leaving Blue Lake. This is the cutest little airport and we have a rainbow over it. I am, this is such good feelings. And it's almost, it's like a full, a full one. Okay, I gotta go say bye to Stace. I just had to get that. Drinking in your water before we leave. <laughs> before TSA. So I can pee my pants. <laughs> And we say goodbye to Blue Lake. I don't want to go. Me neither. Oh, I mean, I don't want to leave here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>